Hi guys, this is Rakhi Chow. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a cheese board um, and what you see over here is a solid wood sort of organic shape uh, cheese board. And um, the request by a customer is that I do an ocean theme. So I'm keeping it very, very simple. And um, I've already pre-mixed my uh, resin over here. Uh, this is a resin called Epoch Art Resin that I get in India. And you can see a lot of bubbles over there. It's about 110 or 20 grams that I've mixed. And I'm uh, going to do this with just two colors. Um, one is a translucent blue and the other is an Amalfi blue. And these are uh, resin pigments. Uh, it's like a paste that um, you mix with the clear resin. And um, this is a, a white, uh, it's called that lacy white. It's supposed to create a little bit of lacing uh, for ocean pieces. So I'm gonna do the waves with the white. Now this other product that I have over here is called Easy Cell. And it's not by Epoch, but it's by Perfect, another company here. And it's supposed to um, help you create cells like in ocean pieces, you may want uh, that effect. Um, I've used it once or twice. I don't like my uh, pieces to be uh, with too much cells. So I use it, um, uh, you know, uh, not that much, just uh, in some places. So I've kept it here uh, just in case I feel that I'm not able to generate cells on my own. I may try to use this. Usually um, they recommend that you use this in the base and then put your other colors uh, over it and do a swipe. That's um, my uh, heat gun and my blowtorch. Um, I'll see whichever I usually use the blowtorch to, um, to uh, pop the bubbles and the heat gun to just heat up the resin so that it moves a little bit and maybe uh, to create the wave with the waves. And um, that's it. And let me just uh, pour in, uh, divide up the resin, uh, put the colors in. You're supposed to put a very uh, little bit of color. Um, a little bit goes a long way in this. Uh, and um, some sticks. I have some um, pieces of uh, plastic and paper that I've cut up over here. Um, in case I want to do a swipe or try to mingle the colors, to mix the colors, I tend to use these. So I have that handy. And that's about it, that's my setup. So uh, let me just divide up the colors and uh, get you back, uh, guys back, and let's do the pouring. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with um, maybe the darker uh, blue then uh, make a design with the Amalfi blue and then do the waves. And I'm just going to um, do about this much of the board and leave the rest of the board uh, wood and uh, maybe give it a coating of mineral oil later on. Um, so, so let's start. Now I've let this sit for 10 minutes. I feel that it becomes less runny. Um, I think I could uh, leave it for a little bit more, but um, I think I'll just start. Um, but you could leave it for 15, 20 minutes because this is not gonna take that much time. And um, the tip is that uh, the longer you leave it, uh, more closer to its uh, pot life, I think they call it, um, the thicker it gets and the less runny it'll be. So it won't mingle with the with the other colors as much. So it'll retain its color if that's the look that you're going for. If you want it to mix, then you can start off right away. Um, I think this Epoch resin has a um, life of 45 minutes before it starts uh, setting and hardening. Okay, you just go little bit by little bit and see, you know, if you need more. Don't want to put too much because resin does shift in self levels. So sometimes, you know, you'll get a design uh, later on if there's too much of resin. 
uh, it just flows in any direction, um, you know, if it's not perfectly leveled your surface. This um, is leveled, um, but you know, there's always, because it's an organic shape, uh, it is hard to get them, um, get the entire surface completely leveled. Just trying to work with the shape of the board and I'll get the sides later on at the end I see where all the resin has um, gone and where I've poured and I get the sides of those I leave the rest of the sides this is the other color now if you want you could uh, pop the bubbles or you could do it at the end up to you a design like that it's good to go quickly so that you get a smoother sort of wave and then now we can fill it in And the other tip for you guys is um, a lot of people like to just mix the colors together. I like to pour them separately, but where they meet, I take a little piece of paper um, or a plastic piece, like in your, those um, uh, pieces that you put between your folders, um, and I cut them up and then I do a little bit of a swipe there. I'll show you that in a little while. So that's another way of just blending the colors in between so that they don't stand out uh, from each other so much. So they're different techniques. just doing this because I'm also going to do a white wave over here so it's gonna grow and I don't want and this board is not that big so I don't want it to grow too much and you can already see that this um, Amalfi blue is pushing the darker blue out so now what I do is let me take one of the smaller pieces And just along this, I'll just do a swipe. Very light, lightly, I touch it very lightly. And I just swipe it off so I can use it again. You can see some cells, which is pretty cool. I think I didn't get enough of it here. Like that, it's selling up and it's looking nice. Over here, maybe get the 
quite a little bit. These edges around it so you know it's always going to start falling off so I'll have to keep touching it up a little bit of something there. there I reuse my um, cups and plastic cups because you can just pop the the leftover resin out of it and then reuse it so sometimes you just have little pieces left and you just have to be careful of that no matter how much I try I get little pieces left over but I like to recycle and reuse and, you know, do my bit. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't really want to touch it. Okay, now here you can see getting little pieces. So because the resin shifts and I didn't pour too much to begin with because I don't want the design to become too big. And so that's why the resin moves wherever there's a little bit of a slope. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of clear resin over here so that the white has something to move on because I don't want to disrupt these that much. And then, um, then pour the white on top of that and uh, make a sort of a wave pattern. So here we go. This is the clear. good. I'm going to use the white. Use, yeah, I don't want to use too much. I think even that much is uh, too much, but let's just see. So I'm going to use the heat gun on low first, heat up the resin a little bit. Keep moving it so that you don't burn the resin, you don't want that. see that has already pushed that um, whole design I had with the swiping over so I might have to do that again okay so let me see if this can work I tilt it and then hit it with the glow torch and see if I can get some cells because of it. I did get cells, but then most of the resin has come off here, so we have to do that again. All right, so it's a process, guys, you know, Unfortunately, this has quite a slope. So, 
and to keep working on it. All right, you know what? I'm going to do the white first, finish off that, and then come back to those two blues because I do want that blue to be more vibrant. Just so that the white is a bit thinner, you get better cells and lacing. Okay. Now, I hope you guys can still see it. Turn this on. interesting things are happening. And what I'm getting is this reddish brown color and that's from the wood uh, because it I think it had a polish uh, we had already put mineral wool on it mineral um, oil on it so that's what is making that but it's kind of looking cool because it's looking like a beach effect all right now I'm going to do this And then I'm going to do the swipe. And also here, let me just pour a little bit. Once I swipe, it'll be all, it'll bend, blend well together. Okay, to be quick because this is already thickening up. I like the white, so I'm leaving a little bit of it. Take this very lightly. I do that. And you can see the cells immediately come out. Very pretty. The cells happen because of two different consistencies of the pigments and the resin. I 
very pretty. Take the thinner one. So you know you you work your design. This is your time to work out your design. I'm gonna take the blue. that a bit this so I always have these handy in smaller bigger sizes pour a little bit more blue here for the blue to come out Blue looks very pretty. And it's darker blue. That's great. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you one last trick at the end, but let me just blend this a bit more. It's a process, you know, you tweak the design, you blend where you want to, you adjust it. You can see it's already coming off there because um, of the slope again. Now I'm going to take a little, have a little bit of the clear. I'm going to put it in the two darker ones and I'm going to dip my plastic in it and then do a swipe, which I'll show you, create more effects. All right, let's do the blue one first. You know, whatever little I have. Take this, dip it inside here, collect some of that resin, very little, don't want it to be too, too dark. And then with this, first I'm going to do a, a swipe here. Okay. do something like this it just blends the colors and it gives more cells and details well sometimes not all the times but you try okay or maybe much here that I don't even have to dip it in the cup Okay. 
these little drips that's another tip for you guys these little drips you can just rub a little bit of alcohol later on and it cleans right up so you don't have to you know worry so much about it okay, a little bit of blue here just a little design Then I'm gonna take and see. I never use that easy cell. I'm already getting cells with this. Um, the more you swipe over the first cells, of course, they all disappear. So you have to be careful of that. And you can see all the blue keeps dropping off because of that slope. Oh my God, this one is a hard one to do. But anyway, scoop it back up and... So I really wanted the ring around this to be as dark a blue as possible. And the resin is thickening, thickening so it won't shift as much. In a bit. this. I'm going to give it a run with the blowtorch first. Not too much. And
Now another tip is that you might have to just run your hand on the edges on the bottom because sometimes it collects, the drips collect at the bottom and it pulls the rest of the design down. So I'm just gonna get the edges and then I'm gonna run my hand down here and get the excess off so that the resin, it doesn't pull the resin, keeps pulling the resin down. I'm just putting a little bit of highlights. one big swipe. Guys, I turned this around so I could get a better um, view of it while I'm filming it from down. So let's take you in. Don't worry about these spots. That's another tip for you. Uh, you can just take some rubbing alcohol and wipe it down. See that? So many layers. When you're doing it, you feel like God knows what the hell you're doing. But it turns out like that. See all those swipes? that I did one layer over the other. They created those cells. And a bit more depth, I feel, to the work, rather than just, you know, just sort of one color, uh, which may also look good, but I wanted to try this out. So see that? So wherever I swipe with one color over the other, uh, it creates those cells, see those? And it looks nice in an ocean piece. And I wanted that darker edge, which kept falling off because this piece is uh, beautiful, but um, it is rounded and very organic shaped. So, you know, it's hard to sort of have the resin not shift uh, and it just goes anywhere. And then you have to keep touching up those edges again and again. Now the resin may still shift, but I'm hoping for the best and I'll um, show you how this dries and maybe I'll make that part of this video itself. I hope uh, I was able to give you enough tips during this. Um, I don't know if I've told you, but I've taped off the back. And the next day what you can do is uh, overnight after 12 hours, you could flip it and uh, heat up, I, you know, just with a blow dryer in the heating setting or with the, I tend not to use my heat gun because I feel that's too much heat. I just go over the tape so that it melts a little bit and then it just comes right off with the resin um, drips, which I wiped off right now, but you know, more will collect. You can see some over there. So that's another trip. Uh, so don't worry too much about the, um, 
the back side and then you can always sand it down you know whatever little bits are left you can take a little uh, sandpaper and sand that down okay guys i think i love this i love the colors and i think it looks like an ocean piece which i intended it to be and i think i've got enough details in it so i'm very 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 happy okay like and subscribe and see you in the next video guys bye